Uh, hi, I'm Alex Garnett. I'm the assistant scenic artist on the show Las Meninas, and today I'll be showing you some of the gold samples for the framing of the show. Um, here's a picture of this. First, I'll be showing you actually how to apply the gold texture on there. So you're going to want to get your piece of molding, or framing, which is not going to be two-dimensional, it's going to be more three-dimensional, but this is just a sample, just to show you. And you're going to go outside, and that's the keyword, you want to do this outside and spray Super 77 on it, and then you're going to take your gold leaf and apply it. Get it on there, try and get some creases on it. Push, pull, get it on there. Nice. And it's right if it does that because you can still pull it up. Loose. Make sure it has some nice creases. this and once you're done with that you want to get your base coat on there which is um, most of our paints that we're going to be using for this are FEV or French enamel varnish uh, pretty much it's just denatured alcohol shellac and pure pigment and with these we're using these instead of regular paint because these are giving off a better, uh, brighter sheen for the gold, and it works a lot better than our previous samples. I can show you. This is just our previous samples with paint and shellac. It's not really as shiny as our samples with this, which. color on it. So what you want to do is take your base coat, just go over top of it. And what this is going to do is make it a little bit darker. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference between the original and then texture and base coat. Alright, we're back. We have a sample all dried. Oopsie. Once we have this all dry, we want to go start doing lining. I don't have a lining stick. It's kind of a cute thing. You want to make sure most of your FEVs are all stirred up well. Let's start off with brighter yellow-ish color. Right. Line down. Let's see what else we might need next. So watch the shadow. Shadow color. Oopsie. Alright, and then once it's all dry, you have it like this, and I would like to reiterate, this is on a two-dimensional surface as a sample. This will be on a three-dimensional molding piece on a frame, so it will have some contours to it, so it won't look like it's just flat color on there. And a lot of this is some linear scumbles of these three colors. Um, a lot of it is color lightly laid on, heavily laid on, or put into a crevice as a shadow. So this is usually what all the colors would look like on this piece. So, you know, most of them should look. 
Thanks for watching.